Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Taylor and if you're looking for some Christmas gift inspo, you've come to the right place. I have been working on my gift guide for the last couple of weeks and I'm really excited because I'm pretty sure we have over 200 gift ideas for you guys for stocking stuffers, for her, for him. We have a lot to get through today, so let's get straight to it. I will also make sure I put these as like chapters for you guys, just so you can view them easier for each category. The first category we have is stocking stuffers. If you see me looking over this way, I have my laptop here with the whole list. But first up for stocking stuffers are spa headbands. I use these all the time to get ready. I love mine, especially the ones with the terry cloth. I love the neutral ones, like this brown one here is on my wish list this year. There's so many colors to choose from. They're super affordable and they're all on Amazon. You can literally do a search and there's so many. Number two is crease-free hair clips. They're pretty much the same thing as the spa headband except in clip form. And they're really great for just getting ready. And the best part is they don't crease your hair. I have a few body scrubs to choose from. First up is the Tree Hut ones. I love them so much, especially the vanilla one. I also really like Dove body scrubs. My favorites are the pomegranate one or the brown sugar one is really good as well. And if you're over in America, Dove have their holiday scents. The hot cocoa swirl one sounds incredible. Number six is along the same lines and that is a good body wash. My pick of the bunch would be the Philosophy ones. Last year I got the candy cane one and it is so nice. This year they have a Christmas cookie one. It sounds absolutely absolutely amazing and it's definitely going on my Christmas wish list. Number seven are some really nice scrunchies. You can get so many different packs off of Amazon, even Shein or places like that have them cheap as well, but you can never go wrong with a really good scrunchie. Number eight is beauty blenders. I go through beauty blenders like crazy. A lot of mine are actually stained now, so I've put some beauty blenders on my stocking stuffer list, but you can never go wrong with a good beauty blender. You can get them cheap off of Amazon or you can get the official brand beauty blender. It's totally up to your budget, but beauty blenders are a great gift idea. Number nine is claw clips. You can get so many cute claw clips at the moment, especially some bow ones like these are so cute. I have just a plain claw clip in my hair. I just love the neutral claw clips because they go with literally everything. Number 10 is kind of along the same lines as beauty blenders and that is powder puffs. You can get heaps of different ones on Amazon. They come in packs of like five, three, 10. So you can really pick how many you want. Number 11 is hair ties. Girls go through hair ties so quickly. I lose mine all the time and I just swear that they just disappear sometimes. So you can get these ones from Amazon that come in a huge pack. Or if you're in Australia, I really like these ones from Woolworths. And I get a lot of questions about these whenever I film packing videos because these hair bands actually come in a little case and I love it so much for traveling and just to keep all your hair bands in the one spot and then I just reuse the packet, it's so good. So if you're in Australia, I definitely recommend this one. Number 13, 14, 15, and 16 fall in the stationery category for stocking stuffers. So number 13 are some really cute pens. You can get some really nice ones, but I really like this one because you can actually erase it. I don't know, I really hate like whiting out pens or I don't know, but this one is erasable. So if you make a mistake, you can just erase what you've written. Number 14 is this pack of pens from Amazon. They are so aesthetic, so cute and perfect for school. And then number 15 are some highlighters. I've seen these all over TikTok for the past few years. They still have amazing reviews. They're so aesthetic, so cute, and they would look perfect in a stocking. Number 16 are bookmarks. If you know someone who loves a good book, this would be really good for their stocking. I love this one. It's a pack of it's from Amazon and they're so cute. They just sit on the corners of the pages and I think they're just so aesthetic. Number 17, you could totally put a candle in their stocking. I recommend going a smaller candle like this one from Glass House is really cute. If you wanted, you could remove it from this little packaging, but I love Glass House. They smell amazing, especially this vanilla caramel one. It's delicious. Number 18 is actually on my stocking wish list, and that is this really cute couples activity. It is date night ideas. I know we're always tossing up where to go for dinner, what to do for date night. And I feel like this is really cool to just shake up your relationship and just do some different things together. Number 19, 20, and 21 are all in the socks category. These first ones are just cozy, fluffy socks. They are so cute and I feel like they're perfect for winter time. I love the neutral colors of these ones. Number 20 are slouch socks. These look really cute with Uggs and some black leggings. I love that they also come in a pack. 
And number 21 is if you're like me and you love your Reforma Pilates, these are a three pack of Reforma Pilates grip socks. These are so nice and they come in a bunch of different colors and different packs, so I definitely recommend. Number 22 is a good quality razor. I love the ones from Gillette. You can go a razor or razor heads, it's totally up to you. So recently I've been getting facials and the lady who does my facials always puts these like ice globes or like ice kind of cold rollers on my face and they feel so good. So number 23 is this face ice roller. You can also get the globes and you just put them in the fridge and it makes them so cold and it just reduces puffiness. So if you know someone who loves their skincare and sometimes complains about feeling puffy or inflamed, this would be really good. I also love a good face mask. So number 24 is a face mask. You can go for the Loops face masks. They're really good. And along the same lines, number 25 is some eye masks. Need I say more? We're all looking to reduce the puffiness and the wrinkles under the eyes, okay? Number 26 is some hand cream. You can get some really nice ones from the brand. I think it's called L'Occitane. But I also really love the CeraVe one. This has helped my dry hands. I get the worst dry hands and CeraVe is the only thing that works for my hypersensitive skin. Number 27 is a mini detail angular brush or a mini hairbrush in general. I really, really love the wet brushes. I own one of these already and I highly recommend these. If you know someone who's a content creator, number 28 is a ring light. I'm using a ring light right now and I think these are really good. Yeah, if you know someone who loves creating TikToks and content. Number 29 is one of my favorite styling creams and that is the Day Hair Styling Cream. I found this product maybe a year or two ago after seeing it going viral on TikTok and I must say it was worth the hype. This style cream does not go hard or gross in your hair and it really holds all those flyaways back. And number 30 is a newer product they've released. It is the same styling cream, but in a wand form. I use the Slick Stick at the moment, and I reckon the day styling cream would be amazing. I'm yet to try it, but it's on my wish list. Number 31 and 32 are phone cases. 31 is this really cute fruity one. It's giving Jerf Avenue dupe, and I really love it. It's so cute. And then the next one is a magnetic phone case. My phone charger is magnetic, so I like to have a magnetic phone case. So I thought I would include this really cute one with the bows. It's so nice. Number 33 is an Octo Buddy. These went viral on TikTok as well. I have an Octo Buddy on one of my phone cases, but these are also really good if you know someone who loves creating TikToks. Number 34 is a really fun one again for the book lovers, specifically if someone has a Kindle. This is like a Kindle page turner, so they don't really have to worry about flipping pages. They can just click the button and it'll automatically flip the pages for them. A very handy gadget, if you will. Number 35 is a really cute key ring, whether that be for their car keys, their school bag, etc., etc. I really like this gold one. It's like a bubble letter one. So it's also personalized. And I think that's a really cute gift idea. Number 36 is their favorite sweets, chocolate, something like that. I'm not sure if you can get these anywhere else, but in Australia, they have these and they are my absolute favorite. This one here includes your regular chocolate, caramel, milk and caramello, I believe. Number 37 is just some foldable grocery bags. I love the ones that fold away because they can fit in your handbag really easy and in your stocking. Number 38 is a passport holder for those who love to travel. I love this one from Amazon with the little clip and they come in a range of colors. Number 39 is a luggage tag. You can get these just about anywhere, but I love this one from Amazon with a little patch on it. So it's also personalized. Number 40 is for someone who has a Polaroid camera. You could get them some Polaroid refills. Number 41 is some bath bombs. I love Lush for their bath bath bombs and bubble bars. This gingerbread man one from Lush is so cute. 42 is a little wristlet. You can get these from Lululemon, but if you're on a bit of a budget, Amazon have them as well and they're perfect for on the go. 43 is also another travel gadget. It is a pill organizer for those who travel, who take a lot of supplements. This is perfect. 44 is a travel jewelry organizer. I own this one with a little patch and it is perfect for travel. I take it overseas when I'm traveling into state and it is just so cute. 45 is also another travel gadget. It is a perfume atomizer. I use these all the time whenever I travel. You can put your favorite perfume in them and they come in bulk packs. I love it. Number 46 are some dermaplaning razors. Number 47 is a loofah. These come in a range of colors so you get their favorite color. Number 48 is for those who love their coffee, who own a coffee machine. You could get them their favorite coffee pods. I'm sure they would appreciate the restock. Number 49 are some glass drawers. You can get plain glass drawers but I really like these ones with a little Christmas design on them. You can get them just a single glass drawer or you can get them a pack. 
Number 50 is the Viral Elf Lip Oil. This has gone viral for a reason and it's also on my Christmas wish list. Number 51 I use all the freaking time and that is the Laneige Lip Masks. I love this. I use it every night and I rarely have cracking lips because of this product. Number 52 is a silk pillowcase. They come in a range of different colors. Number 53 is for those who have a lot of touch screens in their life, whether that be their iPhone, their car has a touch screen. You can get this little touch screen cleaner. Number 53 54 is a card holder. You can get a bunch on Amazon. My card holder is from a brand called Peter and Jane, I believe. So there's a lot of different options out there, but a card holder would be really nice in the stocking. We all know that hotel lighting is absolutely terrible for doing makeup. So number 55 is a travel LED mini makeup mirror. If the person you're buying for has AirPod Maxes, then some AirPod Max accessories would be really nice, especially these covers, and they come in different colors as well. Number 57 is an AirTag keychain. These come in different styles, but I really love these ones and the little flowers. They are so cute. Number 58 is an electric candle lighter. These are for people who love their candles and this one is really nice. So sleek. 59 is a good old portable phone charger because if you're like me, my phone goes flat all the freaking time. So I live off of portable phone chargers. This would be a really good gift idea. Number 60 is a really nice Apple Watch band. You can get just the standard like rubber silicon Apple Watch bands, but I really like these gold ones to elevate your Apple Watch when you're going out. Number 61 is an AirPods case. Bows are in at the moment, so how cute would this be? 62 is a manicure set. Need I say more? And number 63 is a self-care journal. This is really good for someone who loves their self-care, who loves journaling, writing. This would be really, really nice. 64 is another viral product, and that is Heatless Curls. They are everywhere on TikTok. You can get these ones from the brand, I think it's called Kitsch. I may have butchered that name, but this is the brand to go for. Number 65 is a room spray. This is really nice, just a spritz in your room. Number 66 is kind of along the same lines. It is a mask air freshener. I use these so, so much around our home. They smell so good. They have a range of different scents and they come in packs. Number 67 is some nice nail polish. You can go Christmassy colors or just something really neutral. Nail polish is always a good idea. Number 68 is a scalp scrubber. These are really good to promote hair growth in case you were wondering, but you can get these really cheap off of Amazon or also Kmart if you're in Australia. 69 is some press on nails. So if you're gonna opt out of the nail polish and you know this person really loves fake nails and getting their nails done, then some press ons would be really good. Kiss do some really good press on nails. Number 70 is some jewelry. You can choose either bracelet, necklace, rings. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite options. I love these bow earrings. They are so cute. And like I said, bows are in right now. And then kind of following on from that slash matching that is a bow necklace. How cute is this one? And then I also really love, I own this product actually, it is a tennis bracelet. I love it. I think it's from the brand Pavoy off of Amazon and all of the stones and stuff are still intact. It's so easy to clip on. Just make sure you sneakily know like what their wrist size is because you have to choose the size. So good luck figuring that out, but <laughs> these are really good options and they're all from Amazon. And the last thing on my stocking stuffer list to go with all of the really nice jewelry you just bought is a really cute and personalized trinket tray. You can get these ones off of Etsy. There are so many small businesses you could support. I really love this one with the embossed name and then the hearts all around it. You can also get cheaper ones from Amazon as well with just initials on, or you can just go a plain trinket tray. Okay, that is the stocking stuffer list done. I need a drink from all that talking. Let's move on to bigger gifts now, specifically for her. I've had to put like subcategories for this one, just so that way it's easier for you guys to follow. And the first category is clothing and accessories. First up are Uggs specifically the UGG Ultra Mini platform or just the UGG Ultra Minis. These are so cute, perfect for winter, and I really like the chestnut color or the sand color. Number two is also UGGs, but the cozy slippers. They are so nice. You can get the actual UGG cozy slipper or there's also dupes on Amazon. Number three in this category would be Adidas Sambas. Is that how you say it? Anyway, Adidas sneakers are so nice. They come in really cute colors. I don't own the Sambas, but I own the Superstars 
and they are so comfy. So I definitely recommend these shoes. Number four are New Balances. I love my New Balances so much. I can't remember what number they are, but if you do a little Google search, you'll find so many cute colors. Number five is a cute PJ set. There are really cute ones on Amazon. Skims have them as well. Peter Alexander, if you're in Australia. And also Victoria's Secret have the cutest PJs this year. Speaking of Skims, number six is Skims loungewear, specifically the soft lounge range. I own these sets in a couple of different colors and they are so comfortable and they are true to size. Number eight is a nice hoodie. My go-to for hoodies is usually White Fox Boutique because they have so many to choose from and they're fleece lined, so they're super warm. Number nine is a puffy tote bag from Amazon. I have a puffy tote bag similar to this one and I love it. It fits quite a lot and it's really good for work. Or if you have a bigger budget, number 10 would be the Marc Jacobs Viral Tote Bag. I have the small version of this. It is perfect for just going out, but if you know someone loves to travel or wants a bigger work bag, then you can get the medium or the large size. Number 11 is a really nice shoulder bag. I did some searching and I found this one from Charles Keith and I love the shape of it. Number 12 is a Naked Vice bag. I love this one because again, it's perfect for work. It's large, but it can still sling over the shoulder. It is just so nice. And number 13, is the viral long champ bags. These are again perfect for work. Number 14 are Bellini shoes. I love Bellini to the death. I wear their slides religiously all the time and you can get some really cute pairs on there, especially these ones. And number 15 are Bellini boots. I love their boots as well. If you like a cowboy boot, they have so many. They have knee high boots, ankle boots, so so many to choose from. Number 16 is a Sendre watch. I've been wearing Sendre jewelry for a really long time and they are really good quality, they don't tarnish, and they are just beautiful. Look at this watch, so nice. Now, I've never been a Crocs girl, but if you know someone who is, then Crocs would be a really good gift. And if you really wanted, you could probably buy some gibbets to go with it. Number 18, both Hayden and I absolutely love the North Face for their winter jackets, specifically their down jackets or puffer jackets. So if you know someone who could use a brand new jacket, the North Face is my go-to. Number 19 is a Lululemon belt bag. I wear my belt bag all the time and it is still just as good as new. These are a little bit more expensive, but I promise it's worth it. They last a really long time. Number 20 is a nice pair of sunglasses. You can choose any brand depending on your budget, but I really like the Ray-Ban Sunnies. Okay, the next category is home and homewares. Starting off with number one, we have some really nice wine glasses. I love these ribbed ones. Number two is a baking set. Look how many baking pieces come in this set. It is from Amazon and it'll be perfect for someone who loves baking. Number three is on the pricier side, but it is a Smeg kettle. And to go with it, number four is a Smeg toaster. Again, these are pricier, probably not for everyone, but I really love the look of the Smeg toaster and kettles. Number five is another appliance and it is an air fryer. You guys know we all know and love jelly cats. So number six is a jelly cat and I freaking love the bunnies. They are so cute. Number seven is a really nice glass tumbler set. This set actually includes the glass drawers I was talking about earlier, and you could totally put them in that person's stocking. Number eight is a candle warmer. If you know someone who is absolutely petrified of lighting their candles, then get them a candle warmer. Number eight is my absolute favorite glass house diffuser. Again, in that vanilla caramel scent, these smell incredible. Number 10 is a wax melt burner. I have a couple of wax melt burners. This one's really nice from Amazon. There are a few different small businesses who sell them. And then to go with it, you could do some wax melts and I love these Christmassy ones. These smell like gingerbread cookies and they smell amazing. I should also mention these are from Etsy and you can get so many really nice wax melts from small businesses off of Etsy. Next up is this Ikea desk and drawers. This is perfect for someone who's studying, someone who works from home or someone who needs a new makeup desk. This is perfect. Number 13 is a large LED makeup mirror. This one has different modes and you can also dim or increase the brightness. Number 14 is a Yeti colster or can holder. They have just brought out this color and I am freaking obsessed with it. I would recommend this for anyone. Number 15 is a headset stand for those who have headsets or for those who have the AirPod Maxes. And number 16 is a nice desk mat to protect this person's desk. Number 17 and 18 are for the people who love planning and it is a 2025 planner. You can get ones from Amazon for pretty cheap or my personal favorite is from a smaller business called Steph Pace Planners. I have been using Steph's planners for a few years now and every single year I buy a new one and they are the best quality and they have so many different
different extra features, I definitely recommend these. Number 19 is a really nice notebook. I love this neutral one. Number 20 is a quilt cover. This one is from Next and it has the viral bows on it. I believe you can get pink bows or black bows. Number 21 is a tea organizer. This would be a perfect gift if you know someone who loves a few different types of teas. What you could also do is actually buy some different teas for them and put it inside the organizer when you gift it to them. Number 22 is a diptych candle. These are definitely a splurge. So if you know someone who loves really luxurious candles but would never buy them for themselves, then diptych is a really good brand and they have holiday scents out right now. Number 23 are some bamboo sheets. We only use bamboo sheets in this household because Hayden sleeps really hot. So these are perfect if you know someone who sleeps hot who needs new bed sheets, and I believe these are antibacterial as well. Number 24 is a coffee machine for someone who hasn't splurged on a coffee machine yet, but they love their coffee. This one, I must admit, is a bit expensive, but you can go smaller ones and they are a lot cheaper. So either of these will work. Number 25 is a utensil set. I love our silicon utensil sets. You can get these from Amazon, but my absolute favorite is either Little Label Co. They have some really nice ones or a small business called Our Home To Be. That's where our original utensils pencil set is from and they are still going strong and it's just so nice to support the smaller businesses. Number six is a really nice knife block with the knives included. And number 27 is a really nice dinner set with the bowls, the plates, the side plates, the lot. Number 28 is really cool. It is a desk cup holder. So for someone who works at home or studies a lot, this would be really neat. Number 29 is for someone who cannot get off clean talk. And that is, I think the brand name is Karcher, the Karcher steam cleaners. Number 30 is a Robo Vac. These are also a bit of a splurge, not gonna lie. There are a few brands out there. We currently have the Narwhal brand. We really love it because it auto cleans, self cleans, and it does a really good job of mopping and vacuuming. Other brands include Ecovacs, Roborock. There are a few out there. And again, these are a bit on the pricier side as well. Number 31 is a good coffee table book. You can get all sorts of different books to suit different price ranges. This one here is a little expensive, but if you wanna give someone something that they wouldn't normally purchase for themselves, this is really good. Otherwise, you can get cheaper ones from Amazon, from Kmart, and places just like that, Target even. Number 39 is an organizing product. It is a rotating shoe cabinet or shoe shelf. How cool is this? Especially for someone who has a little too many shoes like me. Number 33 is a new office chair, specifically one where someone can sit cross-legged. These are great, they are from Amazon. 34 is a nice throw blanket. I really love the Adairs throw blanket if you're in Australia. Otherwise you can get them from Target in America or just from Amazon. Number 35 is a neutral bullet, perfect for someone who loves making smoothies. And number 36 is a soda stream. Okay, that is the homewares section done. Let's move on to makeup, hair, and body products. Number one is a shark styler. I don't own one of these, but I've heard really good things about them. So you could definitely give someone one of these. I believe they are the cheaper version, I suppose, of Dyson. Number two is a hair curler. There are a lot out there, so I recommend looking at reviews. I don't use the hair curler I have because it doesn't have the little clamp, so I always burn myself. So if you're looking for a hair curler for someone, I do recommend getting one with a little, little clamp thing. Number three is the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. I feel like this is really budget friendly and it smells incredible. If you're looking to splurge a little bit, I love this Valentino perfume. It smells amazing and I always get the best compliments. Number five is the Rode lip treatments. These have gone viral for a reason. Number six is one of my favorite lip balms. It is the Summer Fridays lip balm. You can get these in gift sets at the moment for the holiday season or just get a single one. My pick I think at the moment would be Vanilla Beige. Number seven is the Rode Glazing Milk. This is another viral product and it's amazing for the skin. Number eight and nine are my absolute favorite blushes. Number eight is the Rare Beauty Blush. I still use this to this day. I've had this product for a couple years now and I'm still going through it, so it does last. And number nine is the Viral Patrick Tar Blush Duo. I love this product and again, it is worth the hype. Number 10 is the Say Primer. I forget the exact name of this product, but I use this all the time to prep my skin for makeup. I'm yet to try this one, but I really want to. Number 11 is the Refi Primer. This is apparently really good for a dewy base, so I would recommend this. Number 12 is an eyeshadow palette. This one here is from Makeup by Mario. It is super pigmented, and I love all the color choices, or the neutral color choices in this palette. Number 13 is a little hard to get your hands on these days, but it's the Dior. You universal palette. It is so, so hard to get your hands on these, but if you do and you can manage to find one that's in stock, 
get it. Number 14 is Benefit Precisely My Brow. I love this brow pencil so much. I've used a couple brow pencils where like it kind of flakes, but this is really good and their brow gel is really good as well. Number 15 is the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. I freaking love this cookie highlighter. It is also on my wish list and it is so beautiful. I think it's also limited edition. I could be completely wrong. Don't take my word on that. Number 16 is a powder bronzer. I recommend the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. I use this all the time and it's so nice. Or you can also get number 17, which is a makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer kind of bronzer. This is supposed to be foolproof. I have used it and I think it's really blendable so creamy and it is a really good product. Number 18 is my personal favorite setting spray. It is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. It is really good for holding and setting your makeup in place. Number 19 is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. There are mixed reviews on this product but I absolutely love this product. It's great for contouring the cheekbones but it's also really blendable. Number 20 is the Tarte Brown Mascara. Brown mascaras are really nice and a great alternative to black mascara. They are not as harsh and I recommend this one. You can never go wrong with a really nice dry shampoo. You can get a Living Proof, I believe is really good, or this one from Emica. 22 is from the brand Way. Their leave-in conditioner is amazing. I use it all the time. Also from the Way brand is number 23. Their hair mask is incredible. I got this for Christmas last year and it makes my hair feel so soft. I recently picked up this product. It is the Wella Hair Repair. 25 and 26 are from one of my favorite brands, Sol de Janeiro. First up, they have this gift set, I believe for the holiday season. So this is really nice for someone just to try out their scents and they come in really cute sizes, perfect for someone's handbag. Number 26 is the tried and loved Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum or Bum Bum Cream. It is so, so nourishing for the skin. I'm probably gonna butcher this name, but number 27 and number 28 is from the brand Gazoo, Gazelle, Gisu. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but their lip oil is a really nice option or their hair oil also has really good reviews. Number 29 is my absolute favorite product to remove makeup. It is the Garnier Micellar Water and this is super budget friendly. Number 30 is a little skincare organizer. This one rotates, so it'd be really nice on a countertop. Or number 31 is a three tier shelf would be really nice as well to take up vertical space. Number 33 is the bigger version of the wet brush and they have so many cute patterns. 34 is a hot tools organizer to organize all of the different barrels and stuff if someone already has a hair straightener or a hair curler. Number 35 is a bit bougie. It is the Way hand wash and hand lotion set. The best part about this is once they're finished with the actual Way product, they could just refill it with other soap. Number 36 is a really nice bathrobe. Jerf Avenue have incredible bathrobes or just something that looks like this that's super cozy and comfy. Number 37 is a makeup brush set. This set is massive. It is from Amazon and it is cheap. Need I say more? However, if you're willing to splurge, number 38 is the Hourglass brushes. They have amazing reviews. I've heard nothing but good things, so you could definitely get someone one of these. Number 39 is also a bit of a splurge, in my opinion anyway. It is the Shizido, I think is how you say it. But their eyelash curler has incredible reviews. It is expensive for an eyelash curler, but apparently it's worth it. What do you guys say we move on to the travel category? First up, this is one of my absolute favorite weekender bags. It is the base weekender bag. I have mine in a gray, but I'm loving and living for this brown color. I also own this product and I love the color. I love the sizes and they often go on sale. Number two is the American Tourista hard case suitcases. There's carry-on, a medium, and a really large size, and they are really good quality. I wasn't sure if I should put these in this category or in the for him category, but I'm gonna say them anyway. Number three is a golf bag. I know some of my girls out there love golf, so you could get them this really nice white golf bag. And if you know someone like me who loves skiing, loves snow sports, then a snowboard bag or a ski bag would be a really good idea. Burton have some really nice ones. Number five is a toiletry bag. You can never go wrong with these for travel. This one kind of like expands and has a little hook so you can hang it up and it fits so much. I have one similar and yeah, it fits so much in it. Number seven is a travel blanket. I love this one. It went viral a little bit, maybe a year or so ago. I own one of these and they're so unique because not only are they a blanket, but they also kind of condense and zip up into a pillow as well. Number eight, Hayden actually got me onto these and that is a universal adapter. If you know someone who travels overseas a lot, like we do, then these adapters have all different power points or plugs in it and it is so handy, such a good travel gadget. Number nine is a car freshener. You could probably put this in your stockings as well, to be honest, but you can get a car freshener. Along the same lines is number 10, the glass house car diffuser. Diffuser. A bit of a splurge, but in my opinion, worth it. I own the Glasshouse Diffuser in white 
and it also comes with I think the vanilla caramel scent again you can also buy refills for these so if you wanted to you could buy them the diffuser and then some refills to put in their stocking number 11 is packing cubes I love my packing cubes so much you can get a range of different ones from different places mine are from Amazon and they are really good quality number 12 is related to skincare but in a travel kind of form these clean skin towels have gone viral for a reason it just helps eliminate any bacteria getting onto your face to make you break out. They have a large box, yes, but they also have these smaller boxes that are perfect for travel. I believe they're on sale at the moment for the Amazon Black Friday sales too, so you could get a discount right now. I had to include these next two products as their own separate thing because I thought they were so freaking adorable. Number 13 is the Victoria's Secret makeup bag set. So it comes in this large bag, but inside it, there's all these little different bags and look at that pattern, it is so cute. With the bows and then number 14 is kind of similar if you didn't want the pack you could just get their little cosmetic bag I guess and again same pattern and so cute for travel I probably could have included so much more in this category but I just wanted to include some of my absolute favorites at the moment so the final one is number 15 and that is a travel garment steamer this is a perfect product for on the go and I recommend these ones from Amazon they are pretty budget friendly but there are a range of different ones from Sunbeam and stuff like that we have two more categories to go I nearly forgot this category actually and it is the health and fitness category number one is a Stanley cup I'm pretty sure I included this in my gift guide last year it's back in this one for a reason I love Stanley great brand and it's really good for keeping your water cold along the same lines I actually have it here to show you is the simple modern tumbler the 40 ounce I actually prefer the simple modern ones because they don't leak as much and I find that my Simple Modern actually keeps my ice and my water colder for longer than the Stanley Cup. And I believe they're a little bit cheaper than Stanley. I could be wrong, but they come in so many cute colors. I have this color and a brown color, and they're so cute. And then if this person loves their Stanley Cup, you could also get them a silicon Stanley boot. This will also fit, I think, the Simple Modern cups as well. But you could also use this for a stocking stuffer if you wanted to. Number four is a little straw cover for the Stanley Cup or Simple Modern Cup. I believe this does maybe help with the spilling issue out of the straw, but I think this is also mainly to keep the straw plugged in case, you know, any creepy crawlies crawl through there. And I love these bow ones. They're so cute and also could be used as a stocking stuffer. Let's keep going with the water bottles because I feel like these days we all love a good water bottle. Number five is an Awala water bottle. I am yet to get my hands on one of these. I work with a lot of people who use Awalas and every time I ask their opinion, they always say they love Awala. And if you think this person will not like any of those, then you can get her a Yeti. They have different sizes. I reckon maybe 24 ounce up would be a really good size. And again, I freaking love this color. Number seven, eight, and nine are gym bags, but I wanted to show you like different ones you could get. So this first one is just a plain old gym bag. My gym bag is from Gymshark, which was a little bit more expensive than this one, but this is so nice and I love the color. Number eight is a gym bag, but with the little extra addition of being able to store a yoga mat on top of it. So perfect for someone who loves mat Pilates or yoga. And number nine is the puffy look gym bag. I love the puffer look. I think it's so nice, so aesthetic. And this one has a little shoe compartment underneath it. Number 10 are some ankle weights. I think the Vile brand might be like Bala or something, bangles, something like that. Anyway, you can get these ones from Amazon. You can get them from Kmart, from sports stores, all different places, but ankle weights are a really good addition if someone likes mat Pilates as well. Number 11 is a yoga mat to go with their gym bag with the yoga organizer, but a yoga mat is really nice and I love the color of this one. I've been seeing a lot of hype around this product and I haven't done too much research on it, but a lot of people recommend it and it is an aura ring. And I believe you can track different fitness or health things with it, do your research, before getting one for whoever it is. Number 13 is one of my favorite activewear brands, Crop Shop Boutique or CSB. They have a really nice holiday shop at the moment with socks, drink bottles and stuff, but I love their activewear. I wear it all the time for work. I wear it every time I exercise. They are so comfy, so flattering and in so many cute colors. And if you're looking to splurge, number 14 is an aloe yoga set. I haven't tried aloe yoga myself because it is a little bit out of my budget to be honest, but 
I've heard really good things about aloe yoga sets. And again, they come in so many different colors. Number 15 is a protein powder. If you know someone who loves their protein powder, maybe you could check out what protein powder they like and get them a refill. And to go with it, number 16 is a really cute protein shaker, perfect for their protein drinks. Number 17 is a humidifier. This one is from Amazon. And number 18 is a Garmin watch, especially if someone's looking to just use this for fitness reasons, then Garmin is really good. Number 19 is a walking pad. I have been eyeing off one of these myself just to do walks at home, but there are some really affordable ones on Amazon right now, especially with all the sales. Now, if budget is not your concern, number 20 is a Pilates reformer. I love reformer Pilates. I'm a reformer Pilates instructor. And when I tell you Pilates has changed my life, this is a really good gift, but only if you can afford it. Some of them are very expensive and probably the more expensive ones are the better quality ones, not gonna lie. But I know there are some budget-friendly ones on Amazon and I think Kmart's bringing out one for their Black Friday sales as well. Number 21 is booty bands. This is great for someone who loves their at-home workouts. And number 22 are slider discs. They're like reformer Pilates machines without the machine. Number 23 are adjustable dumbbells or kettlebells. These are really good for someone, again, who loves working out at home. And that way you don't need to buy a whole set of dumbbells or kettlebells. It's all just in the one thing. I wasn't sure where to put this one, but number 24 is a beach towel or a pool towel. I really love these ones. These ones are from Amazon specifically, but you can get these from anywhere. And I love this set in particular because it actually comes with four. We have finally made it to the last category for the for her category. And this subcategory is Tech. Number one in this category is a ring doorbell. I own a ring doorbell and I absolutely love it. I love knowing when someone's at my door and being able to see people and stuff like that. I know that sounds really creepy, but a ring doorbell would be a really good gift. Number two is the DJI Insta360 camera. I think these are so cool. They are expensive, but the video quality is insane. And I love how small they are. So if you know someone who loves content creation, but is very anxious, then this small camera might be good for them. Number three is also on my wish list. It is the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 Gimbal. What a mouthful. But this is basically a gimbal tripod slash selfie stick for the phone. And it just makes everything so much steadier. Again, really good for content creation. Number four are Apple AirTags. Earlier I mentioned the keychain, but you could get the Apple AirTag to go with it. Number five are for my gamer girls out there. It is a Nintendo Switch. I love my Nintendo Switch. I don't get to play it as much, but the Nintendo Switch system is amazing. And number six is to go with it a game or two. My pick of the bunch at the moment is the newly released Mario Party Jamboree. This looks like so much fun. I actually really want to get this just so me and Hayden can compete. I love Mario Party. I grew up with it and this would be a really good game to even play on Christmas Day. Number seven is a three-in-one phone charging station. You can get a couple different ones. This one here is really cool because it folds up and you can also use it for travel. Number eight is a good Bluetooth speaker. Bose is a really good brand. I also love Ultimate Ears or UE is a really good brand as well. Number nine is an iPad. Pretty self-explanatory. Or if they already have an iPad, you could get this Folio case. Hayden has one of these on his iPad and I love it. It's a case and a keyboard all in one. Number 11 is a Kindle. You can get the regular Kindle or a Kindle Paperwhite, but a great gift for someone who loves traveling and reading. And to go with it, number 12 is a really nice Kindle case. You can get the proper cases that actually close and have a flap or this one is really nice, little pouch, so cute. Number 13 is a laptop stand. There are many to choose from, I love this one. And if you know someone who always has to have their phone near them, who loves multitasking, or maybe procrastinating, then this little magnetic phone mount for your laptop is such a cool gift. Number 13 is a Polaroid camera. I've been eyeing off one of these. This is the Fujifilm Instax Mini, I believe but this is such a cool camera and a great gift idea. Number 15 is an Apple watch. You could also get the Samsung watches. It doesn't really matter. It just depends what they kind of have already for their phone and what devices they prefer. But an Apple watch is a great gift idea. Number 17 is a desktop soundbar. Hayden recently gifted me one of these and I don't know what I would do without it. This is the exact one he got me with the RGBs. I love it so much. Number 19 is for the girls who love their gaming at home or who just work a lot at home. It is a PC monitor. Number 20 are these LED lights, RGB lights that go behind your TV that sync to the sounds and music. If you look it up on TikTok, you'll see what I'm talking about. But these are so cool for the 
those who love movie nights. Number 21 are AirPod Maxes. I've been wanting these also for so long. They have really nice colors out at the moment. Or if they already own the AirPod Maxes, you could get them a really nice case for them. Number 23 is a gift for pretty much anyone really, but it is a massage gun. Hayden and I have the brand Hyper Ice. We really recommend it. It doesn't slow down when pressure is applied. It is great quality, it comes with different heads. It is a little expensive, but worth it. Number 24 is a hatch clock. These are viral everywhere, all over TikTok. They are an alarm clock and a white noise machine in one. If you don't have access to hatch or it's just too expensive, then my pick would be to separate them. You could either purchase someone an alarm clock or you could purchase them a white noise machine. I sleep with white noise all the time because I am such a light sleeper. So if you know someone who's the same, then that would be a really good gift, a white noise machine. Number 25 is probably more geared towards someone who's in cold weather at some point throughout the year. And that is a towel warmer. This next one I've been very close to buying for, for myself. And that is a projector for your phone. You can watch Netflix and everything on just a wall. And I've even seen people use them up on the roof while you're lying down. But a projector is such a cool idea. And lastly, number 27 is for someone who who loves getting crafty, who also loves to label things like me, and that is a Cricut machine. I really love the Cricut Joy or the Cricut Joy Extra is really good as well. They are cheaper and they also still cut vinyl. If I was to choose one from those two, it would be the Cricut Joy Extra, just because it's a bit bigger, so you can do a little bit more with it. Okay, that is pretty much a wrap for all the gifts for her. Obviously these gifts in that category can also be for him as well, and hopefully you found that really helpful, but for the final category of this video, I know, take a breath, have a drink, have a snack, but the final category is for him. I wasn't originally going to include a category like this in this video, but I've had a lot of people tell me they are stuck with what to buy for him. So shall we get straight to it? I'm gonna try and be nice and quick with this category because I talk a lot. But number one is a DJI drone. Hayden recently bought a drone, he is obsessed with it. Number two is a GoPro camera. We use these all the time to go snowboarding and they are a really good action camera. Number three is a wireless gaming headset. This one from Logitech is actually the one I have and I really rate it. Number four is a sound bar. You can't see ours right now because it's hidden in all the snow, but we love our sound bar so much for making movie nights again more immersive. Number five is a toiletry bag. I love this one for guys and I love that little bottom compartment as well. Number six is an insulated lunchbox. You could get Yeti or something a little bit more expensive, but this one is really nice from Amazon. Number seven is a phone case. You can go magnetic phone case if they prefer that, but any phone case is good. Number eight is a really nice cap. Again, I love the North Face, but you can go any brand you want. Number nine are winter gloves. I recently bought these ones for my dad. I'm still yet to receive them, but I recommend looking for maybe leather or something that's waterproof and then something really soft on the inside like cashmere or something. Number 10 is a new wallet or a new card holder and number 11 is a pack of socks. You can get any brand. I feel like white crew socks are always nice. Number 12 and 13 are from the Skims men's range. Last year I bought Hayden these shorts. I think these are in like the soft lounge kind of category again or something similar. He loves these, they are so soft. He wears them around the house all the time. And then you could also get him some Skims underwear. I'm this close to getting some for Hayden, but the Skims underwear has really good reviews. They have like that really soft material and I feel like these would be really comfy. 14 is a magnetic car phone mount. You clip these onto the vent or you can put them on your dash or your windscreen if that's better. But nonetheless, these are magnetic and a really good idea for someone who spends a lot of time in their car. Number 15 is a weight rack, perfect for the guy that has a million dumbbells and a million kettlebells. He can store all of these on here. Number 16 is a pressure washer. I don't know too much about these, but Hayden bought one and he loves his. Number 17 is a drill or any power tools really. You can never go wrong. A drill is a good place to start. Number 18 is thermals. You could get these for her or for him, but thermals is a really good idea for those who again love snow sports or for those who live in a really cold climates. Back to the workout theme, number 19 is a workout bench. Perfect for at-home workouts. Number 20 is an RGB keyboard. Both Hayden and I love our RGB keyboards. I really like the brand Razer is really good or Logitech I think is really good as well. Number 21 is just some basic tees. These ones are from Calvin Klein. And number 22 is just a really nice luggage set. If luggage set is a bit out of your price range, then just a suitcase will be fine. Number 23 is an RGB floor lamp. This one's from Amazon. And number 24 is a Lego set. You could totally get these for her as well. There are some really cute flower ones and stuff. 
but how cool is the Star Wars one? There are a range of Lego sets you can get. So go into Lego and have a look, but Lego set is a really good gift idea. Number 25 is the Echo Show. We have one of these and really love it. You can actually play music through it. And the best part is it has a little screen as well. 26 is a Yui Boom. I was talking about these earlier. These are a really good speaker and I recommend this black one for guys. Number 27 is a monitor, similar to what I was saying before in the tech category, but this gaming monitor is really nice with the curved screen. Our go-to brand is usually MSI. Me and Hayden have this feud at the moment because I love Apple products and he loves Samsung products. So for him, number 28 are some Samsung earbuds. I think these are newer and I actually put them in my ears myself and they are super comfortable. However, if you know a man who loves Apple, then an Apple watch band is also a really good gift idea for him. I love this black one. Number 30 is body wash. Method have a really good body wash or I love the Dove ones because they are massive. Number 31 and 32 to our bottle openers. This first one is magnetic, a really good gadget. And this next one I actually bought Hayden for Christmas maybe a couple years back, just as a funny gag gift, but it is a cap gun. And basically it opens bottles and once you've opened the bottle, the cap loads into the gun and you can like fire the cap at people. I thought it was a really funny gift and it's like only 12 bucks or something. Number 33, you could totally get them. Some packing cubes. I like the black ones, but any color will suffice. And then number 34 is a really nice and new belt. Number 35 are flip flops or thongs if you're in Australia. Havianas is a really good brand, but Hayden really likes the brand, I think Reef and they are very squishy and so soft. Number 36 is an ASCII, so they can cart all their drinks around to their mate's place. And number 37 is a multi-tool of some kind. This one is a really nice one with the hammer and stuff, or you can get like barbecue multi-tools. I gifted that to my dad a couple years ago, I think as well. Number 38 is for someone who loves to go fishing. It is a fishing rod holder to keep their fishing rods nice and tidy. And speaking of fishing, number 39 is a fishing hook cover or protector so that way they don't run the risk of literally stabbing themselves with a fish hook. Number 40 is a PlayStation or if they're not in a PlayStation then Xbox is really good. Hayden prefers Xbox over PlayStation and because of that number 42 is an Xbox organizer. You can put your console in it and organize your headset as well as your controllers all in the one dock. Number 43 is a controller if they already own these consoles. You can get them a new Switch controller, you can get them a new Xbox controller or even a PlayStation controller. Number Number 44 is this little silicon couch tray. If they really do like sitting on the couch playing their games, then this would be really cool to put their phone and maybe a little drink, some snacks. And this is just a really cool gadget. Number 45 are novelty gifts. Things like really wacky keychains, something like that, funny magnets. 46 is for someone who loves their hot sauces. There are so many holiday gifts out there at the moment for hot sauce. You can get them at TK Maxx, Amazon have this one. And yeah, they're really good just to try a bunch of different hot sauces. Number 47 are some Uggs or some slippers. These are really nice, but I love the Ugg Tasmans. I feel like they look really stylish on guys. 48 are some sunglasses. Earlier I mentioned Ray-Bans. You could get those for guys, but Hayden really likes the brand Maui Gym. I feel like this is a really fun gift idea. Number 49 are meat shredders, but they look like the Wolverine claws. I just feel like that is so funny for someone who loves their meat. Number 50 is a Yeti Rambler. I gifted these to my mum and my dad, I think last year or the year before and they love it. They use it all the time to travel and they're really good for keeping coffee or tea really warm or your cold drinks cold. Number 51 is for someone who already has all the tools but they just don't have them organized yet. A tool organizer, can't go wrong. Number 52 is a nice whiskey decanter. I got this one for Hayden a couple years back. It looks like a stormtrooper. He loves it so much. It's on display on one of our cabinets, but there are a bunch of different ones you could get. And to go with it, number 53 are whiskey glasses. You could get a couple of whiskey glasses. You could even get these two products in a set if that's easier. Number 54, skincare gift sets. Clinique is a really good brand and I feel like not too bad price wise either. Number 55 is anything Milwaukee. More specifically, a Milwaukee screwdriver set. Hayden absolutely loves the brand Milwaukee. So you could get him a screwdriver set or any other tools he's needing by Milwaukee. Number 56 is a really unique idea. It's from the brand Tooletrees and it's this in shower mirror with a built-in razor holder. I believe this only sticks to glossy tiles though. So just make sure that you do have that in your shower or you know that this is in their shower but this is really cool because they can shave their face in the shower, which means no more hair left in the sink. 
he can do it in the shower and he can see while he does it. Number 57 is a barbecue utensil set. So if multi-tools aren't really their vibe, then this really big utensil set would be really good from Amazon. Number 58 is some really nice dress shoes. You can get these from any shoe shop, but dress shoes would be really nice. We have three more items on this list and these are a little bit more sentimental, I suppose. Number 59 is what I love about you book. And basically there are a bunch of prompts. It's only very small. So perfect for a stocking stuffer for him, but you can literally fill it out and just follow the prompts in the book. And it's just something nice to remind him why you love him, I suppose. And then number 60 is kind of similar, just in a bigger version, reasons why I love you. It has all the prompts in there, you can fill it out. And I feel like that's just such a nice sentimental gift. And number 61, which is the final idea in my list, and that is a pocket photo album for your Polaroids. Girls, if you're watching this, you can give it to him. Guys, if you're watching this, you can give it to her. Girls, put it on your wish list. But you could basically give this to someone with a bunch of photos in there. I'm pretty sure there are templates online somewhere where you can actually turn your normal photos that you've taken on your camera or on your iPhone, you can actually turn them into like Polaroid size. I'm not sure, you might wanna Google that, but I'm pretty sure I've seen something like that. So. If you don't have a Polaroid camera, turn your existing photos into Polaroids and pop them in this little mini photo album. And maybe it's just a recap of the year, but I feel like that would be really beautiful for him or her to even just flick through. And it's just a nice sentimental gift. I must say anything personalized, anything customizable with their name on it, with someone's initials is always a really good gift. And I will also say gift cards are always a great option, especially if someone likes to buy for themselves, then giving them gift cards or money is always a great option. And remember the gift of experience is also really good too. So you could buy them movie tickets, you could buy them tickets to a show, you could buy them just something for them to experience or something you can even experience together is always a really, really good gift. I just realized I'm slouching so much. Anyway guys, that completes my gift guide for 2024. I hope you found some of this helpful. Again, I'm going to categorize everything or put everything into chapters below and hopefully that's easier for you guys to refer back to for each category. I must also say majority of these gifts are from Amazon unless I mentioned otherwise and these are all available in my Amazon storefronts. I'll put my Amazon storefronts down in the description below. I have one for Australia and one for the US or if you're living elsewhere, you can still view my gift guides and just use them as inspiration. There are a bunch of other gifts in there that I haven't mentioned today, so please feel free to go flick through and have a look and see if there's something else you can find for someone. Anyway guys, thank you so much for putting up with me for so long. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!